In the last episode, we hit the road with Sol and Howard Frank from Camera Electronic in Perth for an adventurous photographic experience. Our first destination was Wilbinga, a playground for any nature lover or off-road enthusiast. We encountered some of the local wildlife and Howard's quick thinking rescued a humpback whale that was caught in fishing ropes. The adventure continues. So we've just arrived at our camp spot for the night. How good were those dunes? Mate, they're insane, so much fun. Awesome, can't believe it. Beautiful Perth, best place in the world. Looked like it was gonna be rubbish weather. Still, look at this, beautiful. Mate, the day started off raining, and here we are at the campsite for the night. No rain, it's just gonna be absolutely stunning. We're in a beautiful little dead end amongst the sand dunes, looking over the beach, nice and peaceful, sheltered, and uh, hopefully not too much disturbance from the neighbours tonight. Yeah, but he's my neighbour, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> There's nothing quite like settling into our camp spot for the night, especially in such a beautiful location. Howard was a whiz in the camp kitchen, and the crew tucked into a delicious meal by the campfire. That was until the rain came. Photography would now have to wait until the morning. Got rained out a bit last night, but woke up to a beautiful morning and wanted to do some seascapes. So came down with my trusty Sony camera, get a tripod, nice and light carbon fiber, little traveler. And I've noticed some stunning shells, blue bottles on the beach. So as much as we were doing seascapes, I decided to get down low, take some great shots of the blue bottles. I've just found this stunning location where I've got the perfect shot. Oh, there's a rainbow, excuse me. And uh, we've got the rocks and the waves. I forgot to bring an ND filter. You always need an ND filter to cut your light so you can get a longer exposure. However, I was still able to bring the ISO down to 50. I got the minimum aperture at f22 on this 24 to 70 lens and I managed to get to a fifth of a second. I still got stunning long exposures, nice and creamy waves right on the foreground here with just a, a beautiful seascape. So we had a great camp, great food, great fire. Didn't get as much footage as we wanted to because the clouds and the, the rain didn't quite play along with us. Anyway, we've got a little bit of Milky Way, but let's head off and go to Yantrip now, check out the koalas. Exactly. So tell us about Yanjip National Park. Uh, so Yanjip National Park is really close to the Perth city. So we're about 45 minutes north. We have a whole heap of different things you can do up here. So we've got koalas that we've had since 1938. We've got a whole bunch of walk trails along there, especially this time of year. Um, we've got a lot of wildflowers. So if that kind of thing interests you, a uh, whole heap of birds. So you mentioned before about the koalas. Tell us a bit more about the koala boardwalk. Okay, so we have three koalas at the moment. You can walk through the koala boardwalk. Sometimes they'll be way up in the tree and all you can see is a little fluffy bum, but other times they'll be down at the feed station and you get a really close look at them, just munching away. And then when you pop out the other side of the koala boardwalk, then you can go through the wildflower garden as well. Picked up the uh, A7 Mark IV Sony with the 70-200 GM Mark II lens and put the Leica away for now and uh, check out some koalas. I was super excited that I've got the 100 to 400 Nikon Z lens on the Z8, and I'm gonna be able to zoom right in, get some nice tight shots. I'm probably gonna go a little bit lazy, so I'm just gonna put it in full auto everything this time and have a play and see how that comes out. If I'm not happy with the results, I might change to some manual settings. So walking through this, uh, this beautiful natural garden now, great opportunity just to find some different things. We're seeing some birds nests in trees, a few birds around mushrooms, wildflowers. Still only got the 70 to 200 with me, but it'd be interesting to do some close focus stuff with that and also some stuff a bit further away. Our clients are always asking us how to get great shots and look for different opportunities. One fantastic idea is to get low to the ground using articulating a screen like you'll see on the Sony a7 IV, grab a good old handy little torch and you can light up from the underneath of a mushroom getting a stunning image, even looking like it's out of an alien planet. You'll blow your mates away with great photography when you try new and different things. Get low to the ground, get the screen out, even if you can't, lie down and just look through the viewfinder. Make sure to visit the Camera Electronic website for all your photographic needs. And if you're in Perth, drop into one of their stores to check out their extensive range and for some expert advice from the team. Next week, we go down into Yonderup Cave to explore a very different photographic opportunity. Yeah.